Hello, welcome to the Design Thinking Initiative. Come on in. Hello, and welcome to the Design Thinking Initiative. I'm Isabel Hodge, and I can't wait to show you how to use the Glowforge, the laser cutter's little cousin. In this tutorial, we will learn how to design an object from a drawing. Your object can be anything, a pair of earrings, a sign, or a leaf for a tree. First, you're going to turn the Glowforge on. The switch is in the back by the power cable. Wait for the Glowforge to calibrate. This can take a few minutes. Next, you need to find a piece of white or light colored paper. Then, outline your design in Sharpie or fine black pen. Your drawing can be bigger than the object you're making to capture fine details. When your drawing is done, lift the Glowforge lid and place your drawing inside. Let's go to our user interface. On any computer, go to app.glowforge.com and log into our Glowforge account. The login information is located on the wall right behind the Glowforge. You'll see that there's a library of past designs. Don't forget to delete your design after you're done or leave it as an open source file for others to use. To create a design, click the Trace button. The drawing you placed in the Glowforge will show up in the browser. If you had already created a design in a software like Illustrator, you would upload it now. The Glowforge takes a picture of the print bed. Drag a selection box around the image you want to trace and laser cut. Click on what you want the Glowforge to cut. If you want to cut the outside of something, click the outside. If you want to cut the line, click the lines. Now we're almost ready to cut your design. Click Place Artwork in the Design Environment. This will take you to a live image of inside the Glowforge. Now, take the material you want to cut your project into and place it in the Glowforge. Please make sure to do a chipboard trial first if you have a large design. You can now resize your image to fit the material to be whatever size you want. There are measurement tools on the sides of the user interface for you to size your piece. On the right, there will be two copies of your image. Click on the top one, which should say Engrave, and click Ignore if you want it to be cut through. If you want your piece to be engraved, not cut through, ignore the one that says cut. In the top right corner, there's an option for material. If the material you have put into the Glowforge has a barcode, the machine will read that and the material settings will automatically show up. If not, search for your material. If you are using a material like paper, cardboard, or chipboard, click Enter Settings, then select the material. Use the chart next to the Glowforge to determine the material thickness. Now that you have everything sorted out, you can click the Ready button at the top right of your screen. Then press the giant glowing button to cut your design. A laser cutter works by focusing a beam of parallel light through a lens. Think about focusing sunlight through a magnifying glass to burn a piece of paper. The laser cutter is doing exactly that, but with much greater precision. If the material is ever on fire, more than a small flame where the laser is, make sure to turn off the laser cutter, open the lid to the laser cutter, drop the fire blanket in, and close the laser cutter again. This will smother the fire. Great job! Now we have a final product. You can reprint your design on another material, just make sure to change the material settings so that it will cut through. Now that you know how to use the Glowforge, here's some examples of cool things you can make. In this episode, we learned how to draw a design for the Glowforge, scan and import the design, change material settings, and laser cut your design. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and I'm so excited to see what you make. Stay creative!